vainglorious. This is protected by the red, the black, and the green. Give you a better idea what's going on. This is how the arrow garden uh, comes. What I did was I drilled a hole in the back of it like this, right? And I used this 3 8 inch uh, connector to come into the aquaponics. Now, when I when I started yesterday, I was lucky I got the right parts, so that I was able to have it come straight out and go in into the uh, uh, into the uh, flow uh, tubes here that's where the water flows up and goes into the uh, into the ducts there for each plant so I was able to do that nicely yesterday but now I go back to Home Depot and they don't have any so I have to come up with some kind of other plan they did have this however which is just the just the bulk and unfortunately the other side of this where it fit in fine over here it doesn't fit in at all on this boat so what I had to do was um, I need this size tubing uh, in order to go up into the to the flow uh, chamber so what I did was I put the tubing straight through but if I just put the tubing through here and uh, and nothing else it's going to slide in and out and it's not going to be a really good fit so what I'm going to eventually do is take uh, one of these uh, rings here uh, clamp rings like that and I'm going to tighten that so that that gets tight there All right? and uh, so uh, again this tube here is going to eventually come into here. This is the bottom of the uh, aquaponics. Now, what would normally be here is this pump. This is a sump pump for the aquaponics. Okay, so that sump pump would have been sitting in here and pumping water from the bottom of the aquaponics bowl up into the flow valves. Uh, but since uh, I'm taking the water out of the fish tank, uh, that pump is useless. So I remove it so that I can bring the, um, the water directly in. Then you're going to use a bigger hose like this. And this is a 3 8 hole. And uh, as I said before, the 1 8 hole uh, hose like this is what goes into the back of the arrow garden. And this is the piece that is in the arrow garden that you can pull out and let me show you where that is that would be attached to that um, that tube there alright so um, if you just have this going straight into the tube I find that it leaks in other words it doesn't all the water doesn't go up and you don't get all your pressure so you have to put um, you know you have to work something out and so what I decided to do was to use Teflon tape and I'm going to put Teflon tape on the end of this and as I you know as it pulls back it's going to um, it's going to you know it's going to seal and stop because this is going to be going back up into the arrow garden the Teflon this is going to pull back here and the Teflon tube is going to be on the end and it's going to stop here okay and that's going to stop the leak also 
Now, what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to have a hose coming out of here on this side, on the bottom, in order to go to the next uh, aqua, uh, aero garden. So as you see, I got three of them here. So this is the second one I'm working on. And after I get it fixed, I will uh, come back and show you what happened. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this T like that. And uh, I'm going to hook the rest of them up. So I'll have three of them going. And I think I'll have um, some good flow coming out. Right now, you notice I still have uh, some room for more flow right here. See that there's, uh, there's room for flow. So anyway, that's the way it's going to work everything the way I want it except for I got a leak going right here so I'm going to have to get another washer and a brass uh, bolt for the other side they didn't have any at Home Depot and as I said this is makeshift because this is not what I originally started with I originally started with this type of situation which worked out real good though I did manage to get this one to work without a leak so so I have to work on that and the other thing is that this pump here that I got which is pretty good I I like the pump but it's not strong enough so I'm gonna have to take it back and this is 80 gallons all right it's not strong enough to pump the water through here uh, through all these cylinders or sections uh, so I'm going to take it back and get a bigger one. But uh, other than it being too small, I like it. So when I get that pump, I'll come back and see if I can fix everything up. Okay, here's where I stand now. I have the three of them hooked up together. Uh, 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 running a connection back here like this. Alright. And basically the same in the front coming back around this way. Right. And back into the tank. <clears throat> I've decided that I can have two tanks. Uh, but I'm going to have to get a bigger pump. This pump is not pumping enough. I'm only getting a little bit of, uh, of flow, not enough of my liking, uh, in specific slots, the slots that have something in them, those are the slots that are getting um, water in them, and the other ones are kind of dry, and I don't know why that is, well, this one should have a should have a third one over here, so this slot actually is working. So it's like that. Those three, those four, and then three again. So anyway, I'll have to see if I can take this pump back and get a bigger pump. Because I just got this pump. Maybe it'll exchange it for me. And I'll uh, see what happens. have to detach the last arrow gun because I still haven't gotten this bolt. Now this bolt is what makes it uh, seal good here and uh, you know right here I don't have a bolt back there. I can't even get in there. But anyway there's no bolt in it. Trust me. <laughs> there's no bolt there and uh, that's why it's leaking because it's only the rubber's only working on it should be compressed on both sides. So yeah, I'll probably have to uh, either find a bolt, maybe I'll go someplace else, or I'll just have to take it out of the sack, out of the system for right now. Anyway, I'll be back. Things. One thing is that if you notice that you have these ridges here on the uh, arrow garden, and if you drill right in between the ridge. In other words, if you have the hole on both sides of the ridge, it's not going to seal, it's going to leak. That's what happened to me on the other side. 
and I drummed it down so that it fits now and it seems like it's not leaking but so just make sure you don't do that pump was not the problem um, but I decided to keep this is a hundred and ninety gallon pump that I got um, to replace the other pump but the pump wasn't the problem the problem was actually uh, a backflow that I was getting and what I did to, to fix that was I changed the um, change from one hose going into the uh, fish tank to each aquaponic having its own individual uh, outlet. Now also, uh, even when I did that, at first I had three of the same size outlets. If you notice, this one is bigger. And that's because I was still getting backflow and it was pushing everything back. Once, actually, once I did the backflow, all of, well, almost all of the, uh, the pods are now getting water. There's one here that's not getting water, and I think the rest of them are, and, and there's one here that's not getting water. But the rest of them are getting water, so the problem was actually uh, had to do with a back pressure uh, that was stopping those, and also creating a leak over here at the last pump, um, it was actually overflowing. It was overflowing through the top because of the back pressure. So I had to, that's why I added the bigger holes, as a matter of fact. So that's just a, a filling. Okay, so now all that's left is for me to do is to learn how to take care of the fish and uh, get my pods and uh, well I'm not going to use I'm going to use my own seeds I still have seeds left over I got a whole box of seeds over there from my garden and uh, so I have to learn how to take care of the fish and this is becoming a little bit more expensive than I thought because even though I got the fish tank free uh, all the fish equipment uh, you know, like the tank and whatnot, uh, all that was free, okay, because uh, it was something I acquired. Uh, somebody left it, so I'm using it. And, uh, but the thing is that all of this uh, test equipment, that kind of set me back. Uh, I wasn't expecting that. I should have learned more about what I was doing, but, but I figure. I want to do a larger uh, aquaponics in the backyard, so I'm going to need to test equipment anyway. So I figure that's a good investment. Um, and uh, if I get this going, actually I should get uh, a, a decent amount of food out of here for, for the expense that it's going to cost me. Uh, I cut down on three sump pumps that will... Uh, running before and now there's only one so that should be a considerable cut down on electricity and I did see a video on YouTube where you can replace the uh, the aquaponics light thank you very much to the person who made that I didn't look to see who the name is yet uh, but that's on YouTube so I, I might uh, I might replace these lights and that'll uh, take down my power consumption uh, that's one thing that we need to be uh, concerned about and uh, possibly make alternative uh, uh, get alternative means of getting that electricity uh, just like we're trying to get alternative means uh, to get good food so anyway uh, I guess that's it thanks for watching
Check it, 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 check